Hi, I want to show everyone how to use the Western Iowa Conference schedule um, feature of the TriCenter website. Um, in the past, TriCenter has built separate activities calendars for different events, and uh, a lot of that information is getting replicated in different places. So to make things easier on our uh, staff and make information more accurate for all of our parents and students, we are going to use this tool going forward. So I'm at the TriCenter website right now. Uh, TCTrojans.org is the website. So from the website, I'm going to go to calendars and if I go to activities calendar which you may have gone to in the past um, you'll notice that you don't see the PDF versions of the calendar uh, the reason for that is we're going to be using this uh, Western Iowa conference site um, with the Tri Center schedules uh, exclusively from now on um, a couple different reasons on that um, the site's a great tool and uh, has all the up-to-date information any uh, other calendars created are, are pulled from that site so um, if a event is canceled say a middle school football game gets rescheduled or a cross-country meet gets rained out or a concert get, has to get rescheduled for a certain reason um, all the information would be most up to date on this Western Iowa conference site anyway so um, what I want to do is show you how to print a month view calendar of the Western Iowa conference events for Tri Center if you would like to um, that's still an option so if I go to um, this activities calendar and I have a link right here for the Western Iowa conference site I'm going to click that and here it takes me to the Tri-Center uh, Schools calendar. So um, I have a view of the week kind of at a glance for the school district with all the different events going on. Um, there's an option to select different dates if I want to on the right-hand side. And below that, there's a view schedules option, which allows me to change uh, what, what activities I want to look at. So I can click just the checkbox and see what the activities are for just that activity by itself. So um, kind of a nice feature there. But for today, I want a calendar with all the events for the district in that month um, to print off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, advanced view report which is on the right hand side below the view schedules option so I'm going to click on advanced view report and this takes me to a menu um, with a lot of different options to choose from by default all activities are chosen all different types of events are chosen all locations are chosen so I'm going to keep that as is but on the bottom I have a time period option so um, the radio button that's selected is the week, the current week. Um, what I want to do is I want to click for the for the uh, next month. So I'm going to click the radio button for the next month. Um, and I'm going to say um, November is what I want to choose. So I can choose whatever month I want to. And uh, I can also choose to only have it um, show events on certain days of the week. Um, if you want to get all events, you probably don't want to select that. So really all I'm customizing on the screen is the time period and changing the month. So I'm going to go ahead and hit generate report at the bottom. And it's going to give me another menu um, for customization of what I want to view. I have a sort by time, sort by activity, expand boxes to show all, all events if needed, condense to one page if needed, um, list the activity or the time first, and don't show specific location. I'm going to leave all that as the default. Um, I just kind of want the, the basic details. I don't want to get too involved. And if I have too many options selected here, um, that calendar is going to get really big and hard to read. And it will try to abbreviate different things if I get too fancy with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as it is. So if I go ahead and hit show report, it will open a new window. And it's got the um, November 2016 selected here. That's the, the time period I chose. And then it also shows all the events for different days. And I can go ahead and print this off. Um, so I can say uh, print right here. If I want to, I can change the view um, to a day or date. Um, kind of gives me more of an agenda view of that. Um, a date condensed. Not a whole lot different there. Um, I think it's trying to give me a pop-up. I don't know exactly what that was, but anyway, if I go back to the month view, it gives me the actual grid calendar that I can select and print that off. So if I go to print, I can change my print options here to, uh, this is from Chrome, so a browser may, may differ in your print options, but this is from Chrome, so it's going to give me um, the option here to change the layout to portrait or landscape, so I can change it um, however I want to there. And um, I can also change uh, different things within my, my settings here for um, if I want my, my header and footer to show too, but that's all within the, the program. So I want to keep it as it is. If I hit print here, I can go ahead and send it to my printer and I have a paper copy of the calendar 